Hello, my name is John Albertson with IBM. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up a Smart Cloud Notes client. Um, we're going to be installing Notes 901 um, with Six Pack One, as well as uh, configuring uh, the Swift File plugin for, um, for, for the foldering helper. Um, I've already previously downloaded the multi user kit for Notes 901, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this and uh, get the installation started. So here we're confronted with the traditional install dialog. Um, we're going to next through this wizard, accept the license agreement. And uh, we're going to do this as a multi-user install. So for anyone that uses this computer, um, each user that logs in will get their, <clears throat> their own configuration upon login. And we're going to leave the installation uh, path to conform to Windows logo standards in the program files directory. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and install the IBM Connections plugin capability. Um, which will allow this uh, particular Smart Cloud Notes client to connect to the Engage features of the product. And uh, I'll leave, you know, all the others, uh, you know, in their standard features. Uh, now, one thing to make note of is uh, you can install the client single login feature, which provides uh, single sign-on capability through your uh through your Windows desktop. And in, as you can see, we're installing this on a Windows 7 Service Pack 1 um, virtual image. Go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to leave the defaults because I plan to use Notes as my default mail program as well as for calendar and contacts. And go ahead and click Install. Okay, the installation is now complete. So now I'm going to move on to installing Fixpack One. Again, I previously downloaded this um, from Passport Advantage. Uh, this should only take a few minutes to install. Okay, Fixpack 1 is now installed. Now I'm going to install Swift File, um, which is a nice little add-on utility. Uh, it's been around for a while. Uh, this, this version has been updated for release 9. Um, but essentially what it is, it's a foldering helper. So it wraps a little bit of analytics around, and around your foldering habits and based off of senders, uh, receivers, uh, you know, subjects, et cetera, and uh, automatically will suggest um, the appropriate folder to move a mail message into. Um, it typically gives you three options across the top of a mail message that you can choose from to auto file or not necessarily auto file, but single click filing of email. So the lace agreement, install. Yeah, it's a pretty quick install for uh, for Swift File. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish, and we are now done. So the first step in any client configuration for Smart Cloud Notes is to launch the client and configure it as uh, a standalone client. So go ahead and click the Notes icon, and you know, brought to the familiar wizard for configuring the Notes client. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next going to provide my name. I'm going to uncheck 
I want to connect to a Domino server. Um, this will basically just build a standalone ID file um, on my machine. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I don't need to configure any of this because we're going to download a utility from the Smart Cloud um, site itself, which will do all of this configuration for me um, to configure me to point to Smart Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. Okay, so now our notes client is up and running. Um, again, it's configured as a standalone install. It's not connected to any Domino server, whether it be a Domino server on premise or in the cloud. Uh, so now the next step is I'm going to launch my browser and we're going to authenticate the smart cloud. Click yes to this. Uh, and I'm going to navigate to apps.na.collabserve.com, which is the URL for Smart Cloud. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. my password so I'm immediately taken to my um, activity stream as part of uh, smart cloud engage and from here I'm going to click on apps and go to downloads and setup and this brings me to a number of different options or uh, I guess tools that are available as a smart cloud subscriber um, what I'm interested in here is, uh, you know, the IBM Smart Cloud Notes um, configuration tool, but you can also install the connections desktop plugins for Windows, which allows you to um, access uh, the Smart Cloud connections environment uh, to be able to access your files, um, to access files within communities, etc., cetera, um, as well as individuals. I recommend all smart cloud engaged subscribers to install those plugins they're, they're very useful especially for moving files around um, but i'm going to go ahead and click on the notes options here and you know as we all know or maybe you don't know um, smart cloud notes provide you a number of different ways you can access your mail um, you can access it with a notes client which is what we are going to do uh, you can always access it with a web browser, and you can also access it with an IMAP client. So if you decide to configure Thunderbird or, you know, another uh, another IMAP um, compliant mail client, you can do so. And if you have um, Smart Cloud Engage Advanced or if you have a, a, a Smart Cloud Notes Traveler account, you can also provision your mobile device to connect to the service as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose with IBM Notes client. And as you can see, the minimum requirements to connect to Smart Cloud Notes is, you know, Lotus Notes version 851 fixed pack 5 or later. Uh, we, of course, installed the latest version of the client, which is 901 fixed pack 1. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. And I'm prompted to accept a license agreement. Um, so after I accept this license agreement, the continue button appears. And here I'm prompted to um, download the config.nsf. Now, this is a configuration database that is specific to the user that is logged in. So you can see here, you know, it gives you some instructions when you're prompted, you know, click to open in the Lotus, in Lotus Notes and then click OK. And as soon as we do that, we'll see that Smart Cloud Notes will automatically configure 
uh, to point to the service. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we're again, um, you know, we have uh, an acknowledge a dialogue acknowledgement here. And as you can see, uh, all of the information that's relevant to my ID is already pre-populated. So I can see here that my mail server is mail 21. The server address for my mail file from for my mail server, as well as my mail file um, path uh, on the mail 21 server. So I'm going to go ahead and click. I have closed all my other windows. No, no other tabs are open. And I'm going to go ahead and click and click join. So as soon as I do that, you know, you can see the utility runs pretty quickly. Um, and I'm given instructions for when I start notes back up um, to, uh, to, to, you know, not switch to a different ID um, because, you know, the, creates for me a smart cloud location document um, that points to the service. So if I wanted to switch to, you know, a different server in a different domain um, or, you know, if I had a test environment or something like that, I would configure that as a separate location document. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes here and then the notes client closes. So then I can go back and start up notes. I'm just going to minimize my browser window here. And I'll double click notes. You can see it connects me to uh, the Smart Cloud server. Uh, my ID file has been pulled from the Smart Cloud vault. So I'm going to supply my password. And go ahead and log in. And the first time that you start up, um, your notes client after configuring it for smart cloud uh, you know policies are going to be pushed down to you and some default configuration settings will be pushed as well um, so it may take a, a couple seconds for everything to appear um, but you'll see uh, momentarily um, that you know uh, I'm connected now to the same time um, my same time client has been um, automatically configured to connect so here I'm prompted to select my location, um, to turn on chat transcripts. I always use chat transcripts, so I'm going to say yes to this. And I'm going to choose this to automatically save, leave the default path, and you know delete transcripts after a year. Go ahead and click Apply and click OK. So if I pop open my same time connect, um, you'll see that I'm already um, you know, I'm, I'm connected and available. Um, with my client and my buddy list loads. And when you hover over names, um, you'll see that, you know, it's surfacing photos from Smart Cloud Engage, from Smart Cloud Connections. So um, you have Smart Cloud profiles that are part of the Smart Cloud environment. And you, as an end user, you can upload your picture of choice into the service which will appear inside of the same time connect client as well as uh, when you access the service through a browser so as you can see the the setup and configuration was pretty quick and simple um, to uh, to install the client so now I can uh, you know I, I can use my 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 email so I'm going to go ahead and click on my mail icon and you can see that you know it's connecting to the service and there's my mail and all smart cloud subscribers by default have a 25 gig quota so it's uh, pretty unlikely that you will run out of mail space or you know storage space anytime soon and uh, you know we also offer the ability to purchase additional storage if you needed to do so um, but I would imagine that you know with 25 gigs of storage space and the ability to store files outside of your email into the smart cloud files um, you'd be hard-pressed to uh, to need any additional mail storage <clears throat> well this concludes the video thanks for watching I hope this was helpful for you